So here we are, day two of our sawtooth adventures. And today, we are at Yellow Belly Lake. So to get to the trailhead, you head east of Stanley. You're gonna go 17.7 miles, and on your right-hand side is gonna be this dirt road to Pettit Lake. You'll get to a four-way junction, turn right there. You'll go over this little bridge, and there will be a sign, a very small sign, so keep your eye open. Turn there and continue for 1.4 miles until you get to a Y junction. At the Y junction, you will see a sign. It says Yellow Belly Trailhead. This place is right down the road from the Tin Cup Trailhead. That's the trailhead that takes you to Alice Lake, takes you on the Toxaway Loop. The hike itself is Pretty basic getting to Yellow Belly. It's 1.2 miles until the you see this giant lake all of a sudden appear. It's almost like a little outdoor playground. There's a lot of felled trees, a lot of deadwood, a lot of things you're kind of climbing over, scrambling over. But this is not our final destination. We heard that up the road a little bit is a smaller, more secluded lake tucked in the mountains. So we're gonna explore Yellow Belly Lake a little bit, and then we're gonna go find McDonald Lake. Oh, what am I gonna say? All right, come on, John, pull it together. All right, so here we are. We made it to McDonald Lake. The hike from Yellow Belly to McDonald is a great trail, super level. It follows along the lake, so you always have the lake in view. It was really easy. Brett could do it, so kids could probably do it. The colors start popping on this part of the trail more than they did in the first mile to Yellow Belly, where it was just kind of rocks and uh, sparse pines, beautiful green, wildflowers start showing up. You'll come out and you'll see this beautiful little lake, this wonderful meadow, and then these huge sawtooth peaks just right behind me, uh, kind of framing the scene. And no one's out here, which is pretty awesome. So I guess it's time to relax, wait for the sun to go down. You know we're shooting the stars tonight. Never miss an opportunity to shoot the stars in North America's only dark sky reserve. So I will whoop Brett's butt in a game of cribbage, make some coffee, and we'll, uh, we'll wait for sunset and for those stars. I would like a shower. Take the 
Not gonna look pretty. That's so hot. Brett, are you trying to make your top ramen into a <laughs> mitt? It is so hot. It's a little beef stroganoff we got cooking up. Secret recipe. It's nice, no one's around, the birds are chirping. We have serenity, peace. The mountains are just waking up, yawning from their nightly slumber. Once again, I, uh, I totally recorded an ending that just didn't seem to fit. Not for the same reasons as the last video, but I think I've almost been programmed to kinda have this super high fake energy whenever I'm on camera. I thought I needed to do that. Somewhere along this, uh, creating this Sawtooth series, I decided I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm tired of that. I'd rather just go with the actual emotion that's going on and speak the way that I actually emotionally feel at the time. And that McDonald Lake, that was just peaceful, tranquil. We'll see what kind of outro and emotion we go with next week as uh, next week's video is Cabin Creek and I accidentally sprayed us with bear spray on that hike. Bear spray works. It might just be an outro of Brett yelling at me. But we'll just have to wait for next week to, to see how that goes. Or you won't. You could be watching this video seven years in the future and there's 70 more videos on the sawtooth that I've made. <laughs> And uh, whenever you're watching this, past, present, future, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>